it is against our vision without your consent it is a ground for credulity also my lord that is section 125 of crtc provides for maintenance of wives children and parents and i would uh, my lord i want to take permission to refer the another council to continue the proceedings wives children and parents a husband is liable for maintenance if any person having sufficient means neglects or refuses to maintain his wife unable to maintain herself or b his illegitimate or legitimate minor child whether married or not unable to maintain itself in the case of maya devi versus jagdish prasad Cruelty, which is a ground for dissolution of marriage, may be defined as willful and unjustifiable conduct of such character as to cause danger to life, limb, or health, bodily or mental, or as to give rise to a reasonable apprehension of such a danger. The question of mental cruelty has to be considered in the light of the norms of marital ties of the particular society to which the parties belong, their social value, status, environment in which they live, also. Cruelty need to need not to be physical. If from the conduct of the spouse it is established, or an inference can be legitimately drawn that the treatment of the spouse is such that it causes apprehension in the mind of the other spouse about his or her mental wealth, mental welfare, then this conduct amounts to cruelty. In an another case of Narayan Ganesh Dastane versus Sucheta Narayan Dastane, it was held that the ground of unsoundness of mind and for judicial suppression on the ground of cruelty, the appellant and respondent possesses high cruelty, and on that ground passes a decree for the judicial suppression. There is an another citation in A. Jayachandra versus Anil Kaur. <coughs> The court observed that under the expression cruelty has not been defined in the act cruelty can be physical or mental. Cruelty which is ground for dissolution of marriage may be defined as willful and unjustifiable conduct of such character as to cause danger to life, limb or health or bodily or mental health. The question for mental cruelty has to be considered in the light of the norms of marital ties or the advanced argument of this matter is whether appellant is entitled for maintenance from respondent or not the appellant is not entitled for maintenance from the respondent as appellant is not legally wedded wife of respondent they were in legal uh, of petitioner they were in living relationship in simple terms they can be explained as a relationship in the nature of marriage where both partners enjoy individual freedom and live in a shared household without being married to each other it involves continuance of cohabitation between the parties without any responsibility or obligation towards one another there is no law tying them together and consequently either of the partners can walk out of the relationship as and when they will to do so now abha is legally wedded by her sushant that is why she is entitled to get maintenance from sushant only in the case of yamuna bai ke in yamuna bai case supreme court opined that the expression by used in section 125 of the code should be interpreted to mean only a legally wedded wife therefore respondent is not liable for maintenance to appellant as he is not legally wed legally wedded husband of the appellant with this i am my arguments that's it that's it from our side sir okay appeal against the maintenance is revision and not the appeal that is been clearly stated by honorable court that the appropriate remedy would be revision and not the appeal first point first and secondly my learned friend has said that under section 482 this honorable high court has not power to coerce a present petition under four section under section 482 of the criminal procedure court the this honorable high court has inherent powers to stop the injustice causing to the any of the citizen within the territorial jurisdiction of Delhi. So under section 482, this honorable high court has the power to pay the present petitions with in the interest of justice. My learned friend also said that murder rape is not a crime. My, my learned friend cited the judgment in which he had cited that murder and that every part the heinous crime and against the society, but marital rape is not a crime against the society. This, if for the sake of arguments we would presume it is a 
crime against the victim herself and not against the society because this is not a normal rape this is a relationship between the part married, married parties also as the legislative has clearly stated under section 375 exception 2 that the husband has if husband has if husband has sexual intercourse with his wife the wife being not at the age of 18 years that it would not amount to rape the legislature has appropriately considered all this view and this why that's why this present exception is present in the present in, is present in the statute present time also if the legislature or the court if the legislature was of the view that this is against the law this is against the society then legislature could have ab abolished it but the legislature has not abolished it till date so it is a law and the present fir needs to be questioned as you would be quite well aware of it yes, sir. to give effect to the orders of the court mm -hmm. under this court to secure the ends of justice or to prevent the abuse of the process yes, sir. what uh, do you think is the scope of section 42 that we should exercise it in this instant case in your favor. Sir, Sushant Thierry is a member no, of parliament. The scope, scope, what kind of uh, cases? Uh, FIR, you're seeking the caution of an FIR. If this so, FIR is registered, it's the first information, it sets the criminal process in motion. And at the very outset, what are the principles which we have to see while quashing the FIR, invoking section 40? If the present FIR is not quashed, the social reputation of the member of parliament would be at stake. No, uh, that means if that would be the logic, any uh, person who is a member of parliament or political holding a political office, any FIR against him and will grant him immunity from law, which is I'm not the case. Malo. Also, the Sushant from time to time has worked to save the institution of marriage. But Abha has stepped out of marriage and approved the court. I, she is herself is a guilty party. She has conceded material facts, but for the institution of marriage, I have not uh, approached the court. But she is approached. No, so this, I this can be done after the trial. So very at the very inception, mm -hmm. to quash an FIR is extremely extraordinary circumstance has to be there. So here I would like to submit that uh, as the there are multiple really, uh, FIR is need to be quashed as this is a clear cut violation of the uh, FIR cannot be registered against the law. There is an exception. FIR okay. cannot be registered against the law. Yes, if it's against the law, maybe caution, but anyway, that has to be seen after the trial or some patent illegality. Also, there are all, all the circumstances need to be looked in the present moment. Do you have any uh, judgment which you can cite on the scope of section so 482? Sir, I within the... Section 482. 482, at present I do not have. Okay. Right. of fact about the, uh, about the pregnancy of Abha. Before the marriage, it is clearly mentioned in the mood problem that the entire situation has been clearly uh, told, uh, clearly tell to the uh, first father. And it is, it is implied consent that if the father knows about the pregnancy of Abha, then his, his, then his uh, son also know about the old facts. Now, the second thing that has been raised in the matter of Sushant Petitioner versus Abha respondent, that the uh, exception 2 of section 375 it says that the sexual uh, the sexual cohabitation between the husband and wife uh, after marriage, uh, wife not being under the age of 18 years, is uh, not amount to rape. But going into the interpretation of that exception, it only says about the it all it is presumed that that the consent between husband and wife is obtained during marriage. But how can someone obtain the consent of a person or a person don't even ask for consent when he is intoxication or has alcohol conditions? That clearly amounts to rape. You can't quash FIR on the basis uh, on under section 482 of CRPC. It is also situated by the opposite council that they admitted that it is crime against victim not 
not to the society. My Lord, it is admitted and they have in their statement and well said that it is crime against only victim, not against the society. That, that is why they are admitting it and they are said in their statement. Also, my Lord, but Abha is entitled for maintenance from Shushan. As it is clearly mentioned in the section 125 of CRPC that, that there is the legitimate or illegitimate child, the father is a life, uh, the father is liable to pay maintenance and the Abha carries uh, carries quotas in her home from Tarun. But it is mentioned in the section 125 of CRPC that father is liable to pay maintenance whether the child is legitimate child or illegitimate child and it is clearly mentioned in the whole problem that Abha is the legally married wife of Shushan that is why he is that, that is why she is entitled to get maintenance from Shushan and the criminal proceedings and the and the in the section uh, 482 the queen uh, the uh, of our opposite counsel in the section 482, it, it has happened in the rarest of rare cases that it is the, uh, that there is the question of FIR. In this case, the FIR should not be quashed because it is the uh, it is the work of judiciary and uh, that whether to what is a rape and what is marital rape that it is only the case of 482 and question of FIR. And the uh, my lord, it is the uh, most humble summits by the council that the, they, uh, they should not be question of FIR and Abha is entitled to get maintenance. From Shushan as, as she is neither by the wife of Shushan. That's it from our side. I would like to refer to certain points. My learned friend has said that I have admitted the fact that she is, this is a crime against the victim. But my learned friend has omitted to her that I have said that for the sake of arguments, I have clearly stated before giving my submission that for the sake of argument, let us assume that. But the my learned friend has omitted the certain fact. But still there is no basis to catch the FIR that it's about to rape. This is against the law. FIR is against the law. FIR, the legislature has considered... If it is unjustice, unjustice then it, is, uh, it should be quashed. But it is not unjustice. It is injustice. I am... Oh, I, the petty, the Sushant is always submitting himself for the marital obligations to be fulfilled on his part. But the defendant has malef with a malefied intention has refused and deserted the husband without any reasonable course under section 09 of the Hindu Marriage Act. There is a provision for restitution of conjugal rights. There is also provision in the section 10 of the Hindu Marriage Act that there is a judicial separation ground and there is section 13 where the section 10 and section 13 grounds are same for the for the judicial separation and divorce and first clause states that when it is the other than spouse's sexual intercourse and the Sushant was physically involved with the bear. The second states that there was the purity and the when there is sexual intercourse by, by the husband with his own wife without a consent against her will, then it is clearly mentioned that it is the mental disorder and it is also ground for purity. She could have approached the learned district for the relief under section 13 to take a divorce. It is a petition uh, is for the judicial separation, not for the not for the divorce. And there are, I am just saying that there are the there are the grounds which are same in the section 10 and section 13, and it is clearly mentioned in the Hindu Marriage Act 1956 that there are same grounds. I am only discussing about the grounds, and I am not telling that that the Abha, Abha is going for divorce. I am just saying that there is a judicial separation grounds in the section 13 of the Hindu Marriage Act, and which and where there is it, it is clearly that the uh, the Shushan had intercourse with the Abhay and the Shushan and it is, there is a ground for fluidity. We are uh, we just, for okay, right, can I ask you a question? We are just saying there is a there's provision for difference between the two. In what circumstances uh, would be appropriate to grant a degree of judicial separation while in another case in a degree of divorce? What are the difference? My Lord, the judicial... Just give some instances if you can. My Lord, in the judicial separation under the section 10 of the Hindu Marriage Act, this states that it is the uh, it is the separation of husband and wife for one year, and the divorce is the is the is the in the in the section 13 of the divorce there will be complete divorce means there there will be uh, there will be no cohabitation or there will be uh, no adjoining of the husband and wife, but the section 10 judicial separation grounds for one year separation. So that's fine, but what can you illustrate? In a certain case, uh, it would be appropriate to grant a degree of judicial separation. My Lord. And not a degree of divorce. 
my lord in this case it is it is mentioned uh, uh, it is situated that that in the judicial in the judicial separation the abha is abha is like uh, abha is claiming for judicial separation uh, separate residence because that the behavior of shushan was very harsh against him and for one year uh, he want to separate residence from her and if the behavior and the other things will be get positive then it is the it is the honor, under the uh, jurisdiction of the honorable court that the honorable yeah, court will grant yeah ye baat bahut achhi ho rahi hai the honorable court will grant separate uh, residence cover karega ek aur kuch jo cover karega and uh, they don't have any children and gross salary is 30000 and also equal 15000 to the
what is the lump sum? They say 50,000 per month is the amount to be paid monthly. So what do you think is the corpus which uh, the wife should have to maintain herself? No, no, no. Okay. No, this is a, a real-life uh, court situation which we get. So, this is not an isolated case. Plenty of such cases. It will, it will be humbly um, uh, um, submitted by the uh, uh, husband that uh, he, he should uh, like he should be given according like uh, there will be a certainty like he is getting a salary uh, like after some period he will be out of the service he will get a pension uh, according to that situation if a, a honorable court thing fit, fit will be a monthly uh, on monthly basis like uh, one third will be an appropriate amount and the... Uh, uh, no, monthly, the monthly situation if it differs, so we get premature retirement or so that we have to keep bearing that amount. So clearly, the separation they want to have, so what are the purpose? The kind of uh, assistance we are get, the assistance we get helps us in imparting quality justice. In fact, the, you will be talking about the delays. Everybody asks why the delays take place and why. So first of all, the best researcher of National Moot Court Competition 2019 is Shubham from Team C. And the next announcement shall be made by uh, Ayush.